Hello everyone. In my previous video, we added support for Yuzu and the emulation station. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, somehow add uh, support for native Android apps uh, to be launched from an uh, emulation station. So one of the things that uh, lacking currently from the version that uh, as we speak, uh, let me bring up this version is uh, 3.0.1.19-19 is the ability to uh, launch Android native applications. And there's a lot of hoops that you can do it from, uh, like put it from the drawer, uh, like from the top menu or something like that. Uh, but having the ability to run the applications uh, from uh, the front end launcher itself, it's uh, still not, uh, it hasn't been supported yet. And um, it has been reported that the developers is working already on adding support for uh, for this feature in future versions but for now uh, there's a walkaround that you can do to launch uh, like the applications that you wish uh, to add uh, from the emulation station itself so today we're gonna go through how we can achieve that uh, it's a similar situation like similar process like what we've done with the yuzu uh, support so uh, hopefully if you watched my previous video you will get an idea how you can do this um, also here so I'll try to go through all the requirements and applications and the, the code that we need to do and also a little bit uh, in depth uh, in how this thing works currently until uh, a future update support the apps natively so um, let's start by uh, the main thing that we are using uh, again is the custom system folder so the XMLs that we have modified for the Yuzu uh, app support. We'll start using them back and we need to modify them to add a section for the application as an emulator and then we will add the applications uh, through one application that we need to download. So um, let's jump to that. So the first thing that you need to do uh, is to download an application uh, called aslauncher.abk. So I will leave a link on that description uh, for that. And once you download this application, you will find a list of all the applications that you have here um, installed uh, in your Android device. Uh, so this will be creating some sort of uh, shortcuts uh, for these applications uh, inside a folder, inside the ROMs folder that you can launch uh, later with, uh, with the, after we do the support. Uh, the one thing that you can also do is the customization of uh, the naming. So if you have an application here that you'd like to customize, you just like uh, long tab it and you'll find uh, like a dialog box is showing here and you can modify the name if you don't want the same name is uh, like coming as its name. Um, so once you, you can also tab, uh, press one tab to enable or disable the application if you don't want this application to be uh, like visible inside the emulation station so you just like tab it it will be like dimmed so now this application will not be shown inside uh, like the list of applications that will be supported or like listed inside the emulation station so once you finish your customization you need to uh, go to save you find an icon on the top here called save so you need to save it inside your roms uh, directory you need to create an uh, a folder called app launcher as a one word underscore apps so uh, just like maintain the name namings uh, with all the uh, like all the cases uh, should be on the all small letters and then you uh, need to uh, use this folder it will show you this message to allow so just like give it an uh, give it a permission grant the permission to add it and once you've done that if you navigate back to the uh, file explorer let's go there in the ROMs folder and you'll find here these all the apps that we have uh, that we already selected you can easily uh, remove any apps that you don't like uh, like you don't want to wish to to be seen inside this application I mean shown in the in the screen of emulation station uh, or you can just like leave them uh, do the selection from the application itself from the ES launcher application itself um, so uh, this is the first part and this is mostly the, the part so if we go through these applications what, what's happening here is uh, having uh, it's only have the some sort of uh, the package name here so if we open the application itself 
uh, let's go back because it's defaulted to that thing so if you open it with um, like a notepad editor so what's actually the application uh, I mean what's actually the files uh, content is just the package name of the application itself so this is the package name that for example the, the application and the application um, which is the AS launcher is working as a forwarder application so actually what's happening is that once you choose the um, like the, the entry from the AS launcher it goes to that file and then the file files this uh, Android package so it's like an app forwarder so this is the first step that you need to create all the shortcuts for the apps through the uh, ES launcher application um, and once we done that uh, we need to save it uh, as I mentioned inside the ROMs uh, and inside uh, you create a new folder called app launcher underscore apps and then you will find and you, when you click save all the applications that you selected uh, will be displayed here so this is the first part uh, the second part is that we need to go back to the custom system so you need to navigate back to um, uh, to the ESD folder and you need to go to the custom systems and again we will be working on the ES underscore find underscore rules dot XML and e underscore ES underscore system dot XML so let's first uh, open the first or first file and this is the part that we done before and the Yuzu uh, support so we added an emulator here for the Yuzu uh, and the Yuzu early access and what we need to do is uh, to add uh, an emulator entry I will leave the XML down in the description or I'll be updating the, the previous one that it can be adding support for both so here in the emulator uh, we add this, this emulator tag which is containing a section called apps and it's just uh, mentioning the uh, AS app launcher that we uh, that we installed on our machine so this is the first part and if you go back to the uh, ES systems and we scroll down you'll find an entry here for a system uh, we have actually two entries so uh, you have the options to launch Android apps or Android games you can uh, like separate them it will make two separate folders if you want to do this, this uh, like that part for the, for the games and some for the apps you can definitely um, create like uh, two folders one uh, as I mentioned with uh, uh, underscore apps and un the other one inside the ROMs underscore uh, it will be app launcher underscore uh, games so as you mentioned so as you can see here it's like taking from the ROM pass uh, taking the this is the pass of the um, the files which is uh, containing dot app and uh, this is two entries that for the system uh, two tags that we need to uh, paste inside also this um, es underscore system dot xml once we've done that uh, you need to restart the emulation station so let's do that uh, i will be pressing back here and as you can see here uh, i don't have any entries yet for the apps so it's showing only the games so let's end task i will be ending task of android st uh, emulation station and launch it again and the first thing that you see now is like a blank thing and this is because of the apps because it's ordered by uh, the names and this is definitely our new section uh, section containing the android apps so if you navigate inside this uh, section you will find uh, all the applications that you set inside the uh, app app launcher underscore apps so this is for the apps uh, just like you can go through any one of these and if you decided to launch for example let's uh, launch microsoft edge here or let's I choose any other one. Let's I'll try to launch this application, AirDroid. Uh, so let's launch that. So it will be showing launching, and it will take a few seconds. So it's not working for all the apps. Let's try another one. Um, let's go to. Asphalt Nitro. Okay, let's launch that. Yeah, so it's launching because this is the first time I'm running this application. Yeah, so it's 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 running. So this is one of the drawbacks that it's not um, like launching old applications because it's 
calling the main activity. So this is something inside the Android application itself. If it's have a main activity, it's calling this main activity. Some applications uh, like have a different main activity or like have the custom main activities. So for some it can work, for some uh, might not work. Uh, let's check this calendar. Let's check if it's have a main activity. Yeah, definitely working because this is like calling the main activity uh, for the calendar. Um, let's try an app. Um, let's try DuckStation as an app. Yeah, so definitely it's launched the application itself. So as long, this is one of the drawbacks because we still don't have uh, like a main support. But I, I believe also if we have even a main support, I mean direct support from emulation station, it will be uh, the developers will be adding the the support for the main activity. Uh, like there is activities inside the program, and its main activity is one of the screens that's like uh, loading or, or the the first screen or the first form that shows once you launch the application if. The application have a custom screen then rather than the main activity it will not sh be shown or like it will not be open and you will end up opening uh, the es underscore launcher itself uh, so as at least it's like a temporary solution it might work for some it might not work for some applications uh, it takes a few seconds to select to run as you can see here it's launched uh, normally uh, chrome uh, uh, sorry microsoft edge so yeah it's definitely something better than going to through the hoops but yeah, this is definitely one of the things that you can customize uh, and use uh, inside the Emulation Station until the developers uh, of the application drop an official support for um, uh, inside the application itself for uh, supporting the uh, native Android apps and games. Uh, so as I mentioned, this is a section for apps. You can create the same for games and you can separate both, like make like some files in the apps and make some, some same files. You can move it to the games folder and you will have two different sections or two, two separate sections um, and yeah uh, I hope this video is informative and you uh, enjoy it and uh, if you like please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it for the friend and see you in the next one bye for now